हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज प्राजक्ता ढके एंड आई एम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी के टी एच एम कॉलेज नाशिक टुडे आई विल बी टेकिंग अ लेक्चर फॉर एस वाई बी एस सी फॉर फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर सब्जेक्ट इज एनिमल डाइवर्सिटी व्हिच इज पेपर वन एंड चैप्टर दैट वी आर डीलिंग विथ राइट नाउ इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू क्लास एम्फीबिया दिस इज द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर today we are going to see parental care in amphibia parental care in amphibia we have divided it into two parts so one of the half of the part will be taken in this particular video and the other half will be taken in the other video so please do watch both the videos we'll begin with the first that is parental care in amphibia and this is the first lecture of this particular topic itself okay now see all sort of behavioral and evolutionary strategies adopted by the parents for giving best survival chances and fitness to their young ones is known as parental care in simple language the care taken by the parents for the welfare of their young ones is called as parental care which is one of the vital factors for survival this parental care includes protection of the eggs and young ones until they become self dependent this this includes guarding the nest carrying young ones on their on their back or say body with specialized morphological adaptations occasionally feeding the young ones and most importantly defending them from the predators different animals are going to show different ways of caring for their eggs and young ones during early developmental phases see this is not there only in case of amphibia parental care is seen in many other organisms but in this particular lecture we will be focusing only on amphibia see among all the animals ex amphibians exhibit great tendency or behavior of parental care moreover this phenomenon is more characteristic and diverse in amphibians than any other animal group amphibians like a neurons urodels and of opodens come across great deal of parental care and have several mechanism by which they protect their eggs and developing young ones from the predators so we'll be seeing some of the ways in which they do it so following are the various ways in which amphibians provide protection to their young ones or their eggs from the predators and made be from the harsh condition or as we have already mentioned made be from the predators parental care in amphibia is generally categorized into two uh, parts or two generally categorized into two categories one the protection by constructing nests nurseries or shelters and second one is the direct nursing or caring by the parents so today we will be seeing only one part of it which is protection by constructing nests nurseries and shelters let us see what all comes under this okay so the first one that is selection of site okay so we are dealing right now with protection uh, protection by constructing nests nurseries and shelters and the first criteria is or the first way is selection of site selection of the proper site for nesting and laying egg is very important okay so that the eggs are not easily exposed to the predators or uh, say uh, uh, any environmental condition or any harsh environmental condition okay so there are some of the examples that i am going to talk about right now here you are seeing a tree frog guarding the nest over here parental care uh, like parent guarding the eggs okay so now the first uh, is that amphibians avoid the circumstances by laying egg in protected or say moist micro habitats on land and uh, which are close to the vicinity of the water right so 
Uh, now the tropical frogs and toads lay their egg on land near the water body in small ditches see all these things they are doing it to protect the eggs right so that when the eggs hatch the the tadpoles that are released will directly fall off into the water body or will have a closer access to the water body okay tree frogs as you can see in this particular uh, diagram Uh, glue their eggs to the foliage that is overhanging the water bodies okay so that after hatching the larva easily gets access to the water for completion of its metamorphosis now which are the examples of the uh, genus the genuses are uh, phylomedusa is there racophorus is there then you have hylodes in this particular category who are going to guard their uh, eggs or lay their eggs in this way some tree frogs deposit eggs in water that accumulates in epi epiphytic tropical plants so this was the example of the selection of site other example other uh, thing that they do is by defending eggs or their territories they defend their eggs or territories they protect their eggs or territories okay so some amphibians protect their eggs or territories ag aggressively by def defending them from predators or neighbors few of the examples that we are going to see are the male and female of a green frog rana climatens guard the eggs from the predators usually males maintain the territory and even attack the intruders okay now the male frog mantophyrin robusta literally sits over the eggs and holds the elastic um, gelatinous envelope containing eggs with the help of their four limbs this behavior not only confers protection from the predator but also protects the eggs from harsh environmental conditions it is observed that removal of these guarding frogs may result in desiccation or death of the eggs okay now next one is by direct development certain amphibians have direct development within the egg to avoid mortality few of the examples are we know what is direct development right direct development means giving young uh, sorry giving birth directly to the young ones so their their uh, larval forms will not be present directly the miniature adults will be formed over here okay in some frogs the eggs directly hatch into the little frogs or miniature as adults as i have already said so uh instead of hatching into a larval stage they the avoid or reduced the death rate by uh giving directly birth to the young ones they avoid the larval phases right they directly give birth to the young one and thus reducing the mortality rate the example of this is arthemleptes hylodes and hyla nebulosa okay and then there are many more another amphibian plethodon cinema commonly known as red backed salamander uh in this particular organisms the hatchling emerges as miniature adult okay ensuring better survival of the young ones so these were the examples of the direct development where the parental uh, where the young ones are directly born avoiding the larval stages now next move let's move on to the another part which is preparing foam nest okay many amphibians secrete large amount of mucus substance okay and convert it into foam nest okay the few examples that we are we will be seeing few of the examples now some anurans are going to lay eggs in the foam floating on the water itself in this case what happens is female secretes large quantity of mucus and beats it into the foam okay she is going to do it herself by means of her hand hind legs so using her hind legs she is going to beat that particular mucus so that it becomes a foam now now after doing this 
the tadpoles are dropped out from the foam and get released into the water after the hatching now in uh, rakophorus shigeli the japanese tree frog eggs are laid by mating couple into the hole or a tunnel into which the eggs are left in a frothy mass okay and why it is done to avoid any kind of desiccation okay you can see the image a over here where you can see the um, eggs are laid into a tunnel like structure into the frothy mass to avoid de uh, desiccation during rains uh, the hatchlings or say tadpoles are washed down the sloping tunnel into the water for further development here you can see uh, during rainy season this will be uh, dropped down okay and they have direct access to the water the next example is the female frog of leptodactylus mysticinus okay which stirs up the frothy mass of mucus fills it in the holes near water and lays eggs into them clear so this was parental care by preparing foam nest the next way is by creating or construction of the uh, mud nests okay let's see you can here you can see the mud nests present over here of hyla faber <coughs> this is again a frog let's see what are other examples or what are uh, what is seen now here the some frog construct nursery in muddy bottoms of shallow waters so in shallow waters when there are muddy bottoms in this particular bottoms the frogs are going to construct their nurseries in brazilian tree frog hyla faber the male digs a little crater like hole or a nursery in a mud in shallow waters okay in which later on the female is going to come and lay her eggs the nest is 30 cm in diameter and near about 5 to 8 cm deep the tadpole hatch within this relatively safer barrier and develop until there until they are large enough to defend themselves okay so this was by construction of mud nests very simple things but very beautiful not tree nest okay so south american tree frog phylomedusa is going to lay eggs in the folded leaf nests okay with the margins that are glued together and what glues where does this glue come from it comes from the cloacal secretion after hatching okay what is going to happen these tadpoles that are present inside the folds of the leaves they are going to fall off below into the water now another frog hyla uh, one of the species of hyla which is resinifictrix obtains bees wax okay from the hives of stingless bees and uses it to line the cavity of the trees once this cavity is filled with water female lays eggs in it and here the tadpoles grow safe from the predators although there are many frogs laying eggs in the near vicinity of the water but there are certain species which lay their eggs away from the water bodies in the damp places okay under uh, may it be under stones in mosses or in plant leaves Spe several species of genus hylodus show this mechanism where entire development including metamorphosis occurs inside the egg due to ample of yolk and the young frog directly emerges out from the egg so your entire development will be from whatever nutrition is available from the egg itself so this was end of the first part in which where we saw the protection by constructing nests nurseries and shelter okay so um i'm done for this particular lecture and 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग